Good morning, beautiful ladies of my heart. Today we're going to talk about exfoliation and we're going to do some exfoliation and at the end is an absolute amazing dermaplane exfoliation with a new product. Stick around, okay? I know this horse has probably been beat to death a million times at exfoliating and why it's important. Let me tell you first of all, my glasses are a little cockeyed today, why it's important to exfoliate. <laughs> Just ignore those. It removes dead skin cells from the surface, which can improve its appearance in many ways. It unclogs pores. It reduces blemishes because you're removing those dead skin cells. It improves skin tone. It reduces the sign of aging because it diminishes the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and age spots. Reduces sun damage. Boosts circulation. Exfoliation stimulates blood flow to the skin, which can help it look radiant and stimulate cell production which means it increases cellular turnover. And it makes your skincare products more effective. By clearing off all those dead skin cells, your skincare can penetrate and be more effective. For mature skin, the older you get, the slower cell turnover becomes, meaning your complexion might rely heavily on the helping hand of exfoliation to keep it at its brightest and best. The caveat here is that skin becomes naturally thinner as we age, as stocks of skin supporting lipids and collagen deplete. As a general average, you should be exfoliating around three times a week. Generally, enzyme exfoliants are gentle enough to be used every day by most skin types, why physical scrubs should be used less frequently, not more than once or twice a week. So exfoliants with alpha and beta hydroxy acids can be used as often as once a day on tolerant complexions as long as you build up the usage slowly. Okay, I use this by ordinary. It is lactic acid 10%. They have a 5%. I started out with that plus HA, which is a hyaluronic acid. So this I use every day after I do my vitamin C. And then there's salicylic acid, which is for which is oil based and that's a BHA, beta hydroxy acid. Oh, I'm saying them, I'm saying them. Anyway, salicylic acid is more for oily, oily prone skin. So that's why I use lactic acid because I have dry skin and I want it to be water soluble. Then there's glycolic acid and I can't use that. I had tried it even at its lowest percent. It's just too, too much for my skin type. Then there are enzyme exfoliators and that has papaya and pineapple. Those are very gentle for any skin type. What I like for wash, now uh, Neutrogena has a Hydro Boost exfoliating cleanser. It's soap free, oil free, paraben free, non comedogenic but it does have some glycol in it. So this, and it doesn't have the beads that scrub your face away. <laughs> those, are, those are physical scrubs. This is just a gentle way to exfoliate and I have used it in the shower. Then I, I'm loving this rock these little pads here for removing makeup and they have a gentle scrubber on the other side. I use the gentle size for removing makeup and it does really good and then they have this little rough side here and it's very gentle to exfoliate so that you could use that every day. I do not use any acids or exfoliants on Saturday and Sunday including my, I just let my face rest with tons of moisturizer on them. Okay, my holy grail of exfoliation is dermaplaning. I think it is, it just, it really gets it off. You just have to be careful how you do it. I, I had a video that I did where I used jojoba oil as a thin layer and that really helped any kind of irritation or nicks and you just got to hold the brush at a 45 degree angle very carefully. But then when I'd be done, I would look and I would still have the fuzz on there in sp certain spots, I missed it. So I saw this video on TikTok with this stuff called Skin and Body. It is a hair identifier spray. Unlock your glow. Fresh and fuzz free face. Now, it has as the first ingredient alcohol in it. So those that have very sensitive skin to that should not use it. I've never used it yet, so we'll see how it goes on my face. I did try to push it down, it's very hard. So I'm gonna shake under pressure. Yes, I will close my eyes. Let's try it. Good smell to it. I don't know if it's getting anything on my face. 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> you see up close? See the fuzz? So now, I'm going to start where I see the fuzz over here. See this? Well, not my hair fuzz. All right. Move that out of the way. And you're supposed to, when you do it at home, you're supposed to go down. I like to go up at that angle. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, ladies. Have a little... I need to wash it off. Oh... That is amazing. It's a 45 degree angle, very gently. Where it gets harrowing is around the nose. Always pull your skin taut. Go easy. Look at that though. I never cut it, you know. I remember my grandpa using a straight razor, you know, have his little thing there and rub it on that. Boy, that is so cool though. Look, now I gotta f do it all the way down. Shouldn't have sprayed that far, then I wouldn't have had to. That is so cool, ladies. Look at my eyebrows. I don't, didn't get it yet. I'm gonna do one side of my face. I feel like I'm in a snowstorm. Frosty the snowman. All right. It's getting all over my brush. Look at the hair that just flew. Oh my gosh, you guys. And it makes it slide easier. You see? That I'm still covered with fuzz. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and be right back, ladies. Okay, ladies. <laughs> It does feel like a baby's butt, and then my eyelashes. But I was able very carefully to get all the fuzz off here. They don't recommend doing this around your eyes, okay? I'm just saying since I had sprayed with my eyes closed, I saw all this fuzz, so I very gently, I don't recommend you do this. They do have little um, blades like this that are specifically for your eyebrows. They're smaller. I don't know if they're any less sharp. I don't know. but. I would suggest doing that. I could not believe all the fuzz all around up here. This stuff is amazing if you can get a bottle that works. And it didn't scratch or I didn't have one nick or anything on it. I am thrilled. And I am going to go wash my face and come back and let you see it all feng shui. Okay, ladies, here I am back after I washed my face and it felt like it feels smooth. Just, oh my gosh. Dermaplaning is my favorite form of exfoliation. Using the oil is an excellent way to do it. Doing it dry is where it can cause your skin to get more tingly and you can get little cuts in there if you're not careful. But this is better than both of those. It is amazing and there's nothing wrong with the can. Okay, I had to take it to my husband before I was gonna send it back and he had to work on it, he said, but you have to push this hard until it clicks. Well, I don't have that kind of strength. So now, it works. It scrapes off all the dead skin cells and helps your products absorb better and your foundation will go on like butter. I'm not kidding you, it will be amazing. So, ladies, I'm so happy you stuck through this video. I hope that you've learned something and that you will do this as a part of your life. All right, ladies, coming soon to a theater near you, we're gonna talk about the inside. What I do during the day to keep my energy level high, very simple, very easy, because I love you ladies and I want you to be with me from the long haul. We can do this together. We're wild and crazy. All right, ladies, I love you and I'll see you next video.